What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of The Upland Show. Today, we've got a fun show planned for you. We are going to review five secrets or five things you may not know about the Upland metaverse. These are some fun facts, some cool little things. Some of you may know some of these things, but some of you may not know any of these things. Let's jump right into it. So number one, if you didn't know, Upland was released a while ago, a few years ago. And one of the things they did to bring people to Upland was CryptoKitties at the time was one of the number one NFT projects. CryptoKitties really put blockchain and blockchain gaming on the map and NFTs. And they did a retirement community for CryptoKitties. And it says today, the developers of the blockchain based property trading game and virtual parallel world upland announced to its community that it has created an island retirement resort for all your hard-working crypto kitties so this is cool they pretty much did in exchange for in exchange participant participants get a chance to win up to 75,000 upix uplands in-game currency the more crypto kitties retired the higher the participants ranking so you had a chance to essentially trade your crypto kitty nfts into upland and they actually made replicas so if you didn't know there is a an island right near san francisco that has a bunch of crypto kitties on it look how cool some of these are uh there's like wizard ones and you can actually see the player and you can even click on their profile to see the person who at the time retired some of their crypto kitties and you can even see how they're doing in upland currently so these are some of the first really early players in upland which is also really cool and the more you zoom in and out you can kind of see all sorts of different crypto kitties one other thing you may not know is there's actually four different properties you can own on this island so to travel to this island you have to be in san francisco and then you can teleport you can send your block explorer to one of these four properties back and forth um, there's currently one for sale by nitrin for four thousand three hundred dollars and it makes sense these are really unique properties there's really nothing else like this where it's an island dedicated to crypto kitties and so just you can see here san francisco just above san francisco this island you can send your character there and hang out on cat island so that's pretty cool so that was number one let's jump into secret number two there are real world replicas of certain buildings already in upland right now you can see the port of san francisco there are a few other real world replica buildings these are called landmarks in upland and these buildings are worth a lot of money um, you can see this one is currently sell by the player jones for seventy five thousand dollars all of these landmark properties cost a lot of money for these players to get. They cost a large upix investment. So you can see that, you know, people who want to create businesses, look how much these buildings stand out compared to these other buildings. Even apartments are some of the largest buildings you can build. Look how big this ferry building is. Um, so that's a really cool one. Let's show you a few other ones really quick. There is also in San Francisco, you can see Coit Tower. This one's pretty cool. I, Coit Tower is one of my favorite places I've been, visited in the real world, and it's cool you could own this property in the digital world. You can own that NFT. And then if you didn't know, there is one more under construction right now. This is a big one. This one is massive. I think it's going to be an amazing place to actually own a business in Upland. It's actually in Manhattan and it is Trump Tower and you got to see this thing. It is seriously massive. Look at this thing. Uh, let me, if you don't 
know if you're on a computer you can hold shift and the arrow keys and you can kind of adjust your screen look how much taller this thing is look how much taller this is than apartment building it's like five times the size this thing once it's done being built you can see oh wow this one is also owned by Nishrin. wow he's getting all the hype today um check that thing out this thing is going to be an amazing place to have a business because pe these things are going to stand out people are going to want to have something that stands out on the map when they're different meta venture shops like selling block explorers out of here or other things you can sell in upland let's jump into secret or something you may not know number three about upland the current player with the most net worth in Upland is Abdullah 86 with 2 billion Upix net worth. That is insane. Real world money, that's pretty much worth $2,200,000. Abdullah has made the largest investment in Upland and this investment has paid off significant for him or her. Um, check this out. 24,000 upix or sorry 24 million upix per month that is that is equivalent to 24,000 US dollars at the current cost of upix to acquire upix Abdullah is getting $24,000 just doing nothing that he gets to add to his wallet every month from his investment in upland in amazing okay let's jump into number what are we on one two what do we do two three let's go to number four so number four the hyperloop if you didn't know the hyperloop actually exists in upland hyperloop is going to be the fastest train they've already started building this in the real world and there's actually a route from Chicago to Cleveland, which is the same route that Upland built. So similar to taking trains, trains are gonna take a long time to travel. The Hyperloop gets you to from Chicago to Cleveland in only a few minutes compared to like 15 minutes, like five minutes compared to like 15 minutes, which is kind of a real world scenario of how much faster the Hyperloop is. I think that's a really cool, thing that upland added and a partnership with hyperloop so that's a really cool one and lastly let's jump into number five alcatraz island many of you may know or may not know about this alcatraz island i think this is really cool that upland did this for players who break terms of service players who are cheating or breaking the rules that upland has established uh, they get sent to Alcatraz. Now these players do have a chance to get their get all the features back added to them. Upland just gives them a fee to essentially make up for the cheating or otherwise behavior that they did and they have a chance to get their account unbanned or unblocked and they can get out of Alcatraz. So it's like going to jail in the real world. You have a chance to get out, make it right, and move on. So I would highly recommend you review Terms of Service. One of the biggest reasons players are getting banned right now is they have more than one account. Upland only allows you to have one account for some obvious reasons. You could really generate money out of thin air by trading properties to yourself and getting the free upics that the game gives you when you first start. So for those reasons and many others, you cannot have more than one account in Upland. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please share it with your friends. Please give it a like. And uh, I hope to do more videos like this in the future covering interesting things about Upland. Let us know if you liked it. Let me know in the comments. What other things do you like about Upland? Or what do you think I missed or should have talked about? And maybe we can cover that in another video. As always, we hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.